So here we see the base of the cranial cavity. Here we see the start of the spinal cord. So this is the hole in the base of the skull here, the foramen magnum. Here we see sinuses filled with air. And the nasal cavities. With the nasopharynx, oropharynx behind the mouth and laryngopharynx. The oral cavities in the tongue here. And this structure here is the larynx. And of course, going through the larynx, down here, that is the airway. And the opening of the airway here is called the glottis. So the opening of the airway first goes down through the larynx and then that goes on down to the trachea, going to the lungs. And what this model is particularly useful at showing is this rubber flap here, which is the epiglottis. Epiglottis covering the top of the glottis. Because behind here, this area here is the esophagus, that area there. So when it's time to swallow something, the food or the fluid has to go from the mouth over the top of the glottis to get into the esophagus. We don't want it to go down the wrong way causing choking. So when we swallow, the epiglottis goes down over the top of the glottis, closing off the top of the glottis, meaning the food or the water can go straight over the epiglottis down into the esophagus, facilitating swallowing without aspirating into the airway. After we've swallowed, the epiglottis goes up, opening the airway meaning that we can breathe again. This is why it's a bad idea to try and talk and eat at the same time.